Hi guys and welcome back to Crypto Chester. Today I'm here to bring you a BTC update. Going to be starting off on the short term time frame, moving across to the mid term and then the long term. We're also going to be touching on some um, very key indicators as well at the end of the video. So, you, so that's something you can really look forward to as well. We're also going to be doing a bit of Bitcoin dominance. Without further ado, not going to keep you guys too long. Let's get straight deep down and dirty into the one hour. As you can see straight away, this is the range that we're playing with right now. You can see the support on the lower side here, guys. The support on the lower side being tested twice here. Maybe some sort of double bottom scenario coming through. You can see the price of that is 19,500. You can see to the top side, the resistance is being tapped multiple times today here. Very crucial area to be looking out for here. And that's around 20,500. So it's around a $1,000 price range at the moment that we're fluctuating in. Whether we're going to keep going up, whether we're going to keep going down, pretty uncertain. But let's go into more depth and see if we can get some sort of idea of what we could be looking for so we can be prepared for each scenario here. You can see the measure move to the upside here is looking something along the lines of this. And this is what we're gonna be doing. We'll be dragging that to the top here. So if we can get that nice congruent breakout, then I'm gonna be looking at getting in a lovely scalp long here for around 4.41%. Obviously, I will be staggering my take profits, guys. I will be moving my stop loss to entry once I hit my first take profit for a very solid profitable exit strategy. I'm also gonna be using these key moving averages here, the 200 EMA, the 200 SMA there, to basically find resistance. Because you can see we've tested these before, we have found resistance coming through. So it's definitely an area to really be looking out for there. And if we don't find resistance, we will probably find support, okay? So this is gonna be very, very nice to see if we can get above them, get a nice candle body close for this breakout to the upside because it's gonna be 4.5% on the table to be taken. Now you see the volume weighted ATR one coming down here on the hourly as well. Very crucial for a take profit. That's something you don't want to miss. Very, very crucial. You can see the resistance that we have off this pretty much continuously. So we need to be using this to our advantage. And that's probably gonna come down when we have that breakout. It's, it'll probably be around 21K, okay? So around 21K is gonna be my another take profit that I will be using. To the downside now, this is the move to the downside right now. Obviously, it is a parallel channel at the moment, so it can break either way. Obviously, on the macro, we are trending down pretty heavily, so it's definitely an option that we can be weighing up here to the downside. You can see, again, 4.41% to the downside to be looking out for there. Still, significant way away for this breakout, whether we do see any sort of upwards momentum here. It's going to be basically a longer term time before we actually get to this area, okay? And that'll be breaking 19,500 to the downside. This is obviously very scary here, because if we do break down again, we could be in to test those lows, okay? That does bring me on to um to talking about the, the most recent low for this bear market for Bitcoin, and that's around 17,007. 17,700 I think it is. So if we do get down and we start touching and start breaking these um, these high lows again here on the macro, then it's going to be absolutely awful uh, for Bitcoin's price. So it's definitely something that we need to be looking out for there. But yeah, in terms of a scalp, we're looking at um, this lovely chart pan. Volume coming down very strongly as well. So that obviously indicates a nice, nice breakout in the price. I do want to say we have near enough tested a trend on the RSI as well. So that's very crucial for bearish momentum. You can see also this horizontal multiple, multiple times we've been rejected from this zone. What do you know? Sat at this zone again. Still sat at that central C point of the RSI, which is not too bad. Okay, it's not too bad. It basically means we can go either way right now. But resistance to the upside, these are the areas I really would be looking for. That's enough about the RSI. Let's look at the MACD. What are we working with here? We're looking at the uptrend actually fizzle out, okay? Near enough coming through to this bearish crossover. If we get this bearish crossover, I probably would expect Bitcoin to start coming down and testing these lower sides of this channel, okay? That will be 19,500 as discussed a minute ago. Moving on to the DMI, the directional movement index, guys, because you know what we like to do here, get as much information as possible to determine which way we think the price is going to be going. So as you can see here, we have a bullish crossover from the positive and the negative coming down there. ADX, very important here. ADX is currently sat at 28.8. That means if we're, if we're above 25, it shows that we're in a strong trend. Okay, It shows the strength of the trend the ADX does. With this bullish crossover, it does show strength of bullish momentum, okay? So it's very interesting to see that does, if that is going to play out and that is going to support us in a long position to the upside. So if we do get that breakout here in terms of the live price for Bitcoin, I want to see us break this point on the RSI, break this high on the RSI, giant bug flying around me, and then also break... Um, um, have 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 the continuation of the trend here on the MACD and then also um, have this ADX climb up stronger here for the DMI. Moving on to the midterm time frame here for Bitcoin because we've got some falling wedge scenarios coming through we need to be talking about, guys. We need to talk about this. This is very essential, okay? 
You can see the support on the lower side here that we're testing. Falling wedges, guys, they tend to usually break up. So it's another bullish sign here that we're looking out for. So another bullish sign that we're looking out for there. Let's do a measure move. Let's see what we're working with here. We're going to be going from the low of Bitcoin right now in terms of this current trend to um, to the high. OK, and that's going to be something along the lines of this. If we are going to break out, that will put Bitcoin at a around 21,250. Very interesting because if we get back up there, we could be looking at sitting up in this nice pocket where we were sat for a while where we were setting basically lower highs here on the macro and um there's the fly and breaking that market structure here um from obviously this humongous upward sloping parallel channel. Very, very interesting stuff. We will go into the longer term time frame in a second. Let me just cover Fibonacci here and also this filthy, horrible bullish divergence. Look at this. Really, really strong stuff here. We actually haven't seen the repercussions from that. Okay, the repercussions from that could be the completion of this measure move. If that is going to happen, there is around 5.39% on the table to be taken here for Bitcoin. Key areas I want to look at here. 0.236 Fibonacci retracement currently sat on that trying to test that for support if we can get above that get a nice few candle body closes consolidate outside of this rising outside of this falling wedge and above the Fibonacci retracement then I would be looking for a potential little cheeky tiny long here okay 5.339% looks pretty juicy if you ask me now let's look at the DMI coming through on um on the longer term time frame here, well, the, well, the four hour, the midterm, and we can sort of decide what we're going for. You can see we had the bullish momentum. We had the bearish crossover. Sorry, we had the bullish crossover and the bearish crossover with the ADX still way above 25 here. You can see these key levels way above 25. So it does show this tr the trend is currently strong. Currently, yes, it is in a bearish momentum, but you can see we're getting ever so close, guys, ever so close here for this bullish crossover. If we can get this bullish crossover and that breakout from that falling wedge that I was just talking about, money, paper planes, you know why we're here. We're here to make cold, hard cash, baby. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be looking for, for that 5.39% uh, for Bitcoin for a lovely long position. Let's look at the VPVR. Point of control at this point in time for um, for where we were there was a little bit lower, around 19,900. So that's a level of support to be looking out for there. But you can see to the top side here, point of control, literally bang on the completion of our measure move here. Okay, And that's around that 21,250, very crucial area, yet again to be looking out for there. Now, in terms of support, look, you can see the VPVR we're sat on this very very chunky very chunky um chunky monkey area here for uh, for support so i would like to see some support come through and a bit of consolidation in this area and then we can go for a nice long for bitcoin let's look at the ema ribbon what are we working with here still pretty much short still pretty much short i'm not i'm not um I'm not surprised because we're below all major moving averages here, guys. And also, you can see moving averages aren't really that coiled up as of yet. So what I do want here is a flat line here for Bitcoin over the next maybe 12 to 18, maybe 12 to 18, maybe even a couple of days there. Flat line for BTC, nice little range scenario coming through here, breaking out of this falling wedge and then gain that confidence, get that long EMA ribbon signal and then basically bang it to the goddamn moon. OK, what's volume doing coming through from it still? Coming down to trending down. So yeah, not too bad as well for volume. Looking pretty good. Let's look at the WAD machine again. Let's look at the coiled up moving average. We were just talking about that. Interesting stuff. Getting to that coiled up point. When, the, when we see coiled up moving average, guys, you know what this means. You know what this means. It means we explode. The price explodes in either direction. So please be aware. But yeah, we do have the bullish divergence as well on our side. So yeah, looking fairly bullish here on the midterm, but I do want to see us climb above this 55 EMA there and also the price action channel to determine that um, that confirmation of that trend, which is the micro, excuse me, micro uptrend that we're actually going for there. Moving on to the longer term time frame here for BTC, you can see we're actually in a horrific measure move to the downside. You can see this bearish momentum is playing out very strong. Is this a trap? Who knows right now? Are we respecting market structure? Technically, yes. Technically, yes, we are, because you can see these confirmed higher lows here from these um from this break to the upside. Confirmed higher low here. You can see another break to the upside here. Confirmed higher low as well. So we actually haven't broke. We've got three confirmed, literally the low, the higher low, and the higher low there as well. I would say, yes, we have broke this higher low structure, but... This is very interesting. If we can come down and we bounce around 18,940 and head back up, it's going to be very, very good stuff indeed. But to be honest with you, we need to be aware, guys. We need to be aware if this um, is a trap, I, I probably will see Bitcoin come back up and, um, and probably sit on this horizontal. As you can see, this level of support last time we actually had a 
pretty horrific dump to the downside like so this is the area i really am watching okay you can see 20,800 is the area for that bullish momentum to continue if it doesn't absolutely fine we're still gonna make money to the downside okay we're still gonna make that paper you can see the measure move coming down like so 15.97 percent looking pretty goddamn juicy in my opinion okay so that's bitcoin here on the, on the midterm so the short term, the midterm, and the long term. Moving across to Bitcoin here for um for my premium scout package. It's been a bit choppy, okay? It's been a been a little bit choppy recently. I think we're currently at like a break even compared to like last week, whereas last week we saw like nine um zero point five percent wins in a row, and from there it's just been like loss win loss win win loss win loss win loss. So yeah, pretty break even at this point in time. So um so yeah, still following that, still pretty good. Nice little scalps coming through 50 50 either way. Um so yeah, it's uh, still pretty good there, and that's obviously on the fifteen. Minute. If you did want access to this, you can literally, um, I can give you a free trial on it. So just drop me a message. Links in the description. Premium, uh, sorry, ultra swing package right now. Indicators are all screaming to long. Okay, don't know how I feel about that. Considering obviously hash ribbons has, has gone long as well. If we bring that up here on the Bitcoin dominance chart, you can see um, hash ribbons has also gone long. Let me let me actually get to Bitcoin chart one second. <laughs> yeah, you can see um, uh, Bitcoin has actually got gone gone long here um, for the hash ribbon signal. And this is obviously very, very, very bullish indeed. We've seen these signals come through very, very, very strong in the past here and taking profit at the bull market barrier as well, up at around 55k. Absolutely ridiculous. But we're not long yet. Hold your horses. We're not long yet. We're waiting for that confirmation. We're waiting for that break of that significant resistance to the upside. That could be a major lower high. That could be a major moving average it could be a lot of a lot of major things here so there's definitely a couple of things to be looking out for there and it is a little bit trappy with all my other indicators going long as well okay so i probably would expect a bit of a pullback to the downside maybe test that low one more time before banging it to the absolute goddamn moon if you want access to these to these indicators as well guys you can do that i can give you give you like a week's trial and you can see the profitability sell sell bang bang you can see a nice little long there for 1.1.32 percent 1.4 percent sell five percent it's looking pretty goddamn good right now, okay? We're making continuous gains with these indicators. Buy, sell, sell. I, I, need I say any more? It's just ridiculous, okay? It's ridiculous gains. Okay, so um, so yeah, that's going to be it from me, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Do appreciate it. Um, as I said, if you do want access, just drop me a message on Telegram. It's absolutely fine. I will get back to you. And um, if you did want to join my Telegram community, the link is in the description. So make sure you drop a message in there once you've joined that. Um, and also, if you like the content, I'm going to be starting a YouTube Shorts series, okay? I'm going to be starting a YouTube short series, and I'm going to be basically doing a YouTube short, doing a ca different candlestick patterns per day, different psychology tricks of trading per day, some very, very exciting stuff coming through on this channel. So make sure you press the subscribe button if you are enjoying the content and looking forward to see more. But that's going to be it from me. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. But for now, it's going to be peace out, and goodbye from me, Crypto Chester.